once you're finished with that door, come back here and check these rungs because they're gonna be there, okay? I promise. Once I would get all the way to the bottom of this door, okay, I would come back up to the top. I'm going to go over to the other side of that, and I'm going to work that edge down. So now I know for sure all of my centers on this window, on this door, this French door, are complete, okay? A technique that uh, somebody taught me a long time ago, it was actually a school teacher that painted also, um, did really well in uh, Atlanta. He taught me some really good techniques. One of them was to take this brush and be able to run it down that window and flip it around without lifting it and bring it back up. To this day, I haven't got it. So just something to, uh, you know, kind of keep as a, a thought process of, you know, time, time efficiency and making sure that things are going to go well. So once we've got these sides done, we're going to take that last stroke right down the middle and then back up, okay? Right down the middle and then back up. And all that's doing is getting the, the paint to level out a lot, a lot nicer. You don't really want to see brush strokes, so you're not going to use a ton of paint, but you do want to make it cover. So once we've got those, um, I'll typically do the undersides. thing to do here is to go on ahead knock these edges down don't go outside of the square but since this is all complete up here on the first coat I would cut this in to mimic the wood grain okay so we're just gonna make a nice line there right there at that jam or at that intersection and we're gonna feather that out to the middle grab a little bit on the other side just to get into that into that board, okay? Just put a little paint on the on the window. Um, but once you get this technique down and you've got a good pattern, a good solid pattern, your brush strokes are gonna be nice and even because you're always gonna be following them. One thing to keep in mind is if you do get any on the glass, just take your finger or rag with a five way, whatever you need to do, and square that off, okay? So that you don't have the, the paint on the glass. Whatever pattern you choose to do is fine, just make sure you don't deviate from it. That way you know for sure you're going to have the success that you want and not the skippers that you don't want. Because if you start randomly going around and painting these squares without a pattern, what's going to happen? I'm going to guess that one of these are going to be left or one of those are going to be left. If you don't believe me, that's fine. You don't have to. But needless to say, this is the best way to get a... Uh, a really good response you know from the paint as far as um, time so you're gonna have really high expectations after a while because your, your brush strokes are gonna be looking really fly you're gonna know what stroke um, what way it needs to go on the wood grain and I'm sorry I'm not really looking at the camera but you don't want to see my ugly mug anyway so again we'll finish those off so we have no brush strokes nice and straight okay nice and straight once that's all done, we'll just skip over to here. We're going to fill in this top one. Once we get this now, we're just going to take this and go straight down. Okay, we're going to make sure that those lines don't stay in the grain of the outside of this frame. Okay, if you, uh, if you have brush strokes outside there, you're going to see them. Okay, you want all of your brush strokes to go with the grain of the wood. And then anything that you have that is extra on the outside, again, we just want to do a nice with the grain stroke, okay? One, one key thing to remember is once you've finished a door, okay, go on to the next one and do that, sure. But once you're finished with that door, come back here and check these runs because they're going to be there, okay? I promise. It doesn't matter. Just look for them. You'll find them. You, you want to make sure you're putting enough paint on there 
but you don't want to overkill it. And normally whenever you're putting enough paint on there, somewhere we're going to get a drip. That's a lot of paint brushing right there, okay? So getting all that squared out is scary. Once I do, again, once again, I've got this done. I've gone all the way down now. The first thing I'm going to do is come back here and cut in this pins. We've got it all taped up, but uh, we could do that without. Straighten out our little cut there. We're going to go on ahead and bring it down to here and uh, fill it in. I'm going to get a couple of globs of paint, but the main thing is, again, spread it out and find that pattern, do the same one every time. I'm getting close to this edge. Next one, we'll get close to the top edge, okay? We're gonna just grab a little more paint, not a whole lot. Pushing that up there. And then we're gonna go back up straight. Flat brush, no pressure. Just let it lay on there and straighten that out. And that should work out really well as it levels out. So I know that's not a full door, but hopefully that helps a lot. Again, key things, okay? Remember where the hands go. It doesn't matter if there's a handle or not. People are going to put their hands right here. So make sure you get all that contaminant, those oils off of there, okay? And then that way you've got a great foundation for uh, your paint to stick. If not, it's just going to peel away. So keep it clean. Follow a pattern, all right? Follow your pattern, whichever way you do it, you know, just make sure you do that. And then always get your outside edges first, but cut it in with the wood grain. Don't overlap over here. It'll dry up by the time you get to it, okay? It'll dry up by the time you get to it, and the next thing you know, you'll have these marks that are going this way whenever they should be going this way with the grain. Sounds a little bit particular, but that's what we like to do here. All right, another little demo there for the Ohio Painting Company. Again, my name's Kevin Silliman, and I'm one of the owners. I've got my boys actually working in this house, so it's... Uh, Coming along great. Not that other other crews don't do well, but um, they definitely do a knockout job. So another fine home, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video.